Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm taking your third week of May reading start from the 15th through the 21st of May 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aries. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time. I will add charms and oracle cards as well. So stay tuned and now while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's dive into the reading and let's find out what is coming up for you guys which has uh, for this week time which has already started. The reads are slightly delayed because uh, I was busy with the Eid festivities. So yep, let's get into the read. Let's see what is happening for the Aries for this week time. Again, the magician. Your life is being influenced by other people right now. Uh, be that in a negative way, be that in a positive way. You have no control over what you want, what you desire, what you want to manifest for yourself. It's more like you know, it's pretty much under the control of other people, uh, for good or for bad. So there is somebody else who is manipulating everything around you in your life. Uh, let's take more cards here. Three of Pentacles. Somebody is 24-7 working towards it. Um, again, it can, be, it can be for a good cause. It can be for a not so good cause as well. It will be different for different people. But let's take more cards first. The star. For some of you, there is a specific someone in your life who is trying to manifest you in their life. It can be your specific someone that you love already. It can be, um, you know, somebody else as well. Maybe it's somebody from the past that wants to reconcile with you as well. But yes, there is a specific someone in your life who is controlling everything right now in the situation for you. Uh, they might be heavily on your mind lately. They are somebody who's, um, um, who might be kind of, you know, showing up in your dreams a lot lately trying to convince you trying to make your heart melt for them so you might be seeing um, this person whoever it is um, that wants to reconcile with you that wants you to commit to them you might be seeing them in your dreams lately uh, this person has all the control of this connection this relationship the situation that you are dealing with if you have been busy with your work lately you might not be able to stay focused on your work why because this person is manifesting you back uh, your work, your everything is going to get affected. Your performance at work is also going to get affected because this person is manifesting something big for themselves with you. I feel like, you know, whoever this person is, they are doing something out of their love, passion, excitement for you. So whatever they want, they will definitely get it. Uh, be that the Karan person, be that somebody that you also love or interested in, be that somebody from the past as well. Whoever this person is, this person is the magician and they will get it all. Whatever they want, they will get it all. They have the, uh, the, they have the support of the universe with them. So whatever they want, they will definitely get it with you. Let's take more cards here. Nine of Swords. You might be seeing them a lot in your dreams. You would feel like, you know, what's going on? Why do I see this person again and again? Uh, let me see. Do you have any uh, feelings towards this person? You are conflicted about this person, though. You know, um... Not because you are not interested, just because you want to focus on your work and this person is not letting you work. <laughs> so that's the issue there. Let's take more cards here. Five of Cups, the Hermit. For some of you, you might have ended a connection with this person because you were too caught up with your work scenarios. Uh, now you are heavily having them on your mind. Maybe you left this person for your work. Maybe you left this person for your family. Now this person is coming back in your mind, in your thoughts, 24-7 you are having them on your mind. You are unable to take this person out of your mind and you don't know what to do because this person has been on your mind heavily, dominantly. Um, you are unable to focus on the things that you want to focus on. You are unable to do anything but to focus on them. So that has been happening and you are, you know, not understanding what is going on. 
but in actuality this person has been trying to do so this person has been trying some law of attraction techniques to make uh, make themselves on your mind lately they want some sort of a commitment from you they want something uh, stable with you they have been praying affirming a lot about you so this person is definitely gonna get you back in their life you will also start seeing that maybe there is some sort of synchronicity that is guiding you towards this person again um, but yes your person is definitely doing that yes you are soulmates basically king and queen of pentacles with this of cups let me take one last card from the top of the deck which is the temperance um, wow this person is basically preparing you um, to get them what they want it's, it's more like you know they are manifesting with every passing day they are manifesting you back in their life the energies could be completely reversed for some of you as well so just be mindful of that let's see what the oracle has to add to the read but you guys are soulmates you guys are soulmates uh, no matter what uh, whatever you chose over this person you are going to leave that all and go back to this person because this person and you are destined to be together you might see yourself getting married to this person maybe you are already married to this person but somehow you chose your work and career and finances over them and now you're gonna make a u-turn towards this person again because uh that's what's gonna you know make you feel like doing uh, you need yourself right now. Maybe that's what you felt. Maybe you felt like you need yourself right now. But in actuality, it's turning, uh, you know, this person is making you turn the tables for yourself. You are their sunshine and you are going to start feeling the same for them. You are going to start feeling as if they are your sunshine. You are not happy with the work that you are doing. Divine timing, so relax. Aries and Gemini, you could be dealing with another Aries or a Gemini as well. Let's see more cards perform rituals to speed up maybe somebody's performing some love rituals to get you what uh, to to get you back in their life let new people in your life and explore maybe that's what you chose but somehow this person is not going to let you move on why because they are trying some rituals uh to get you back so let's see what else do we have so somebody is definitely manifesting manipulating you to have you back in their life release Let me see what is it that you are releasing. <sighs> maybe you, um, maybe you do have certain uh, mental blocks which kind of you know stop you from going back to this person as well um whatever it is that is stopping you i feel like you know, you're gonna start uh, with the synchronicity that you're gonna start feeling with the uh, with the alignment that you're gonna start feeling of the events thoughts that you would be picking up you will be able to release that was blocking you and you will be able to take an action towards this person um because uh, like i said you i you you guys are soulmates so eventually you are coming together so with them using law of attraction techniques rituals to speed things up they are definitely going to get you back support ask for help get more rest nurture yourself um it's time for you to ask and uh seek guidance if you want get more rest to to um pick up the signs coming from the divine as well it's time for you to nurture yourself it's time to stay positive and it's time for you to release the negativity from your mind and thoughts um let's see the charms now let's see what the charms has to add to the read for you guys so we do have lots of alphabets here q s h and n these could be your name initial name initial of the person that you are dealing with as well for some of you you might have chosen to move on from this person whoever is manifesting you back in their life maybe you are with somebody else now um maybe you are not happy maybe you left them for another person maybe you are uh, you are already out of that connection with that specific someone because with these alphabets coming out it seems like maybe you there there was a third party situation earlier now i don't see that there is any third party situation but yes um somebody is definitely gonna consider uh the past person again so again not because they want to it's just because they are somebody's manifesting uh here in this connection um for some of you you could be living in london or uk uh somebody's definitely spying on you for sure keeping an eye on you but yes they want to cut cords with anything that was holding uh the two of you to stay apart 
um, if there is a specific someone in your life still that you are dealing with maybe they will try to get rid of uh, that third person in the connection because they will get you back whoever it is that is trying hard they will get it back um, they could be living away from you but definitely they are keeping an eye on you for sure love dream hope trust they do have a strong faith in the divine around this connection and they know that the universe is going to get them what uh, what they want with you so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal read you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye